Hey, what's going on guys? It's your IT guy, uh, George or AJ, whatever you'd like to call me, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, so, uh, this is episode 2 of my server basic series, and you might notice a little bit of lag, I'm rendering a video currently. I just finished doing the installation of the Active Directory. Uh, now we're going to get into um, creating our first user, and creating a couple of users and organizational units. Uh, now you can use the Active Directory, I put a shortcut on there. If not, you can go to Start, Administrative Tools, use the Active Directory. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, go ahead and run the Active Directory, Users, and Computers somehow. Alright, let's uh, get that up. Alright, so that's up now. Um, now you're going to notice here that we have that domainia.local that we created. This is our domain. Uh, now, in here, you have your computers, your domain controllers, your users. You have one user in here right now, and or two users, your guest, which is not activated. And then you have administrator and a whole bunch of groups. Essentially, the groups have different kinds of security privileges. Uh, pretty much what I like to do is to never use the administrator account. Uh, the administrator password uh, should usually never ever be changed uh, because it's it's uh, connected to some of your database stuff so what you want to do is you want to right click on that you want to copy it and you want to create your own user uh, the first administrator user and uh, I'm gonna go and put in my name George A for Armando Almazan is my last name this is gonna be my username and create a password. Um, usually, you want users uh, must change the password at next login. That's so that everybody uh, can create their own passwords when they log in, and you don't have to be asking them or keeping records of what the passwords are. You can put users cannot change passwords. You passwords never expire. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm just gonna leave everything unchecked and then click finish. At this point you got your user uh, you can right click on it and in the description I like putting here um, IT admin you know simple uh, apply and member of right now uh, I'm a member of uh, all of these things because remember I copied over the administrator and the, the administrator has all of these uh, members and all these privileges that are attached to these uh, groups. Alright, click OK. Now, the next thing we want to do is highlight the Domainia local, right click on it, click New, and Organizational Unit. Now, I want to uncheck this for testing purposes, and pretty much it gives me a hard time to delete the organizational units if I don't do this, so I uncheck it. And here, um, uh, uh, I pretty much just like putting the company name so company and then in here you can create another organizational unit in this organizational unit you can put different things such as like the location like if there's one in Dallas you can have a Dallas location another, another organizational unit in um, I don't know um, Milwaukee, Detroit, whatever, but uh, pretty much what organizational units are, it's a pretty much a folder where you can keep your computers and the users in one nice little folder. And this is pretty good for setting permissions and things like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have an IT department. I'm also going to have um, the new organizational unit. Uh, account accounting and then another one called um, HR so I have these three um, things here now I'm in the IT so I'm gonna get, grab my user here George Amazon and drag it into the IT section so you notice how it's not here anymore and that's the way I like it to be. I don't have like having all my users here and all my computers here. I like having them in nice structured organizational units. All right, so you got that now. So now, um, what I recommend is to never use the administrator password. 
because if somebody is shoulder surfing you and you use the administrator password and they so happen to figure it out uh, now they got a whole bunch of um, yeah, now they could do a hell of a lot of damage and you can delete the administrator account but you can delete things like the uh, or you change the password of these regular accounts uh, changing the administrator password of the the regular administrator password can lead to a lot of uh, inefficiencies and problems in your network alright so um, now let's say you want you have a new employee in accounting you go up here and create a new user you create a new user and I'm gonna call her um, uh, Jane Doe how original J Doe and next I'm gonna give her the same password as everybody else for right now and she can change it on her first login but for purposes I'm not going to do that and there you go and when you do that uh, the only privilege she's going to have is that of the domain users and that's fine with me here you can put that she's a uh, maybe she's a head um, accountant or whatever they call them the CPA whatever uh, HR let's say we have another a John Smith that's the head of HR uh, J Smith and we go ahead and do that finish and again he's only a, uh, a domain user and that's fine and here within the different uh, uh, things you can create other organizational units for example if I wanted to create a systems admin I can do that if like let's just say accountants CPAs uh, are going to have access to more files than a regular accountant or I am or if they take care of different parts of accounting or in the IT if some people take care of uh, installing software they don't need to know anything about the uh, servers and they should only have exactly what they need but nothing more than that strictly for security precautions and that's it so um, pretty much that's it I mean uh, you can add in extra groups in here you can um, if you're gonna have specific groups for the company or specific groups for the IT put them in their designated spot if it's specific to IT Put the group in IT. It was specific to everybody in the company. You can put a group on the company uh, um, OU, and you can tell it's an OU because this little square is here on the folder. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, when we start adding computers in the next video, or actually in the next two videos, uh, once we get our DHCP running, uh, then um, uh, we will be able to also add computers into the uh, organizational units that we have here instead of them being up here uh, but right now as you can see we don't have any uh, but in the next tutorial we're going to uh, take care of that alright guys this was a uh, George your IT guy uh, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like down there if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, all right. If you oh, and if you'd like to keep up with my server basics tutorial or watch any of my other videos, be sure to hit that that subscribe button up top. All right. Hope to see you all next video. Bye bye.